Ah, how are you? Um, we're gonna do a jewel live today. Um, I'm not even sure how to say her name. Uh, um, it's a, either Alicia or Alicia. Um, we're just gonna get to know each other um, while we wait on her to jump on, or um, then maybe we we can just discuss some other things. My lighting's bad, I guess, because it's um, dark in here. Um, Anyway, uh, how is everyone? I hope you had a wonderful um, Tuesday. And uh, I just want uh, like a little funny story that I had today. Uh, my husband was going to um, return my library books for me. Then he told me this little story about him and the little lady that he was talking to. I was like, do I really need to go to the library? <laughs> anyway. Um, if you're catching us live, um, why don't you say hello? Um, if you're watching the replay, tell us how your day was. Uh, so the idea is um, I'm going to ask her five questions and then she's going to ask me five questions and maybe help us get to know each other a little bit better. Uh, now. Okay, how do it says I can wave at you, Alicia? How do I invite you? Oh goodness. Let's maybe that's the button. Request to be in your broadcast. Add. Oh wait a minute, what happened? Oh, add. Add. Okay, I sent you an invite. So, uh, add. Um, this is something new that I'm learning um, on how to um, going uh, doing a jewel live. So, hi there. How are you? Good. Oh, Bob, I'm glad it worked. Find the button. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done a jewel, so I was like, oh, I hope I get it right. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> um. So, how was work today? You know, long day. <laughs> it's work, Ready right? For I know. Um, and how do you pronounce your name? Alicia or Alicia? Alicia. Okay, thank you. Um, You're welcome. So, um, I was, uh, well, my lighting just went out the window, so I didn't charge it. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to find about, somewhere to... I'm trying to find somewhere to put mine so it'll work. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> that's one thing about going live. All kinds of stuff can go happen, but it's fun, you know. I mean, oh. Uh... Yep. Hi, Tracy. How are you? Oh. Uh... <laughs> We're doing uh, a dual live. We're going to ask each other five questions. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Just getting to know each other. Uh, and uh, I do know that Alicia is a mom and she works outside of her business too. Um, yeah. Do you have Do you have like a special hobby outside of um, doing Lime Life? Not so much anymore. I mean, <laughs> my no. son's in baseball and all that. Yeah, running run a business and then working too and having a family, not a whole lot of time left. I understand that. I do the same thing. By the time you get so, done doing everything, it's time for bed. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'll go ahead and get started with the questions, my, my list of questions. Um, okay. Those of you that don't know me, my name is Jerry and this is Alicia and we Hi. are both long life beauty guides. Um. So, um, the first question I wanted to ask was, what was the last thing that you Googled? <laughs> the funny thing is, is, and if Heather's watching, Heather Ashley <laughs> posted a beehive on her porch, and I Googled, somebody said it was a hornet's nest, and I didn't know if it was a hornet's nest, so I Googled that. That's oh. the funny thing. <laughs> Heather's watching, she saw me. <laughs> so, you Googled. You Googled it to help someone else. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, the last thing, uh, let's see. And what was your biggest mess up in the kitchen ever? Oh, gosh. How about the time I undercooked the meatloaf? Because <laughs> oh. I don't eat meatloaf and I hate it and I undercooked it. Oh, I love meatloaf. <laughs> oh. My favorite. And um, are you, you're a pretty good cook other than that, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Other than meatloaf, don't ask me to make it. I hate it. <laughs> and when did you become a beauty guide? I'm Melissa, how are you? Yeah. I think it was in I March. Know. Okay. I'm like one month behind you. So, oh. um... <laughs> So we're pretty close. We got quite a bit in common, actually. Um, yeah. If you were, I, I have my list of questions right here because I was afraid I was going to forget some of them. You said, if you were allowed access to only one life, Lime Life product for the rest of your life, what would you choose and why? The mask, the, the mask is in. Have to have it. Um, my acne control. That's, uh, I like that one. Uh, and what is one great beauty tip that you would offer the rest of us? Um, you know, I've noticed a big difference in my skin with washing your makeup off at night versus yeah. I used to go to bed and I didn't care. And, you know, my skin broke out horribly, which... And then when I started washing my face at night, it started helping it. Well, that's good. Oh. Especially with the wipes. Wipes are awesome. Yeah, I, I keep wipes everywhere, although like all over the house. And I, <laughs> um, and plus, I use them at work because I have like, it's really dusty where I work. So I like mm -hmm. wipe all the dust off every once in a while. So oh, yeah. those are those are my questions. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to answer them. And I guess it's my turn to be in the hot seat. <laughs> what is your favorite Lime Life product and why? Must do. Because it has so many different uses. Anywhere from being a cuticle cream to a beard oil for my son. Um, and it just, you can use it with your moisturizer. You can use it with basically any other product. And it helps, like, have really sensitive skin. And it soothes my skin instead of irritating it like a lot of other products do. So, I mean, I could go on and on and on about that. But, I mean, I'd hate to have to be limited to just that, you know, that. If you said, well, the only product you're ever going to get again is must do, I'd be like, no, why? Up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is your favorite summertime treat? Like food, uh, like dessert? Popsicles. <laughs> um, <laughs> really? I used to think it was ice cream, but it, it really is popsicles. I love popsicles, and I have some um, fruit-based popsicles in the freezer now. I love them. So, And then um, another thing, I, we do make uh, smoothies, but I, we haven't made them yet this summer. Smoothies where you take frozen bananas and mix them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but we we like those, but I haven't done them yet. So I, I might might need to do that this weekend. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know if I've ever made a smoothie. I'm going to have to try that. Yeah, we, try. Um, we've used coconut milk, put a little bit in the bottom of the blender, and then freeze the bananas <laughs> and then any other fruit that you want with it. It's tough. You can sneak some green stuff in there without the kids knowing. <laughs> hey, I buy the spaghetti sauce that has, it has vegetables mixed into it. And my son oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Jerry, how come, um, tell me, why did you become a beauty guide? Well, um, I was invited to a, like a exclusive event 
party thing online. Mm -hmm. And I just really connected with these women and I felt like they were empowering other people. And I really did want to be a part of that. So, I mean, there's a, there's a whole lot. I mean, I could talk for hours and hours and hours about the many different reasons, but that is like the main reason is to help and empower other people. Yeah. It's a good company. Yeah. They have good products. Yeah. Yes, they do. But it's, so much more than makeup and skincare. That's what I tell everyone. It's so much more. I've never been with a company that did so much self-development training ever. I mean, even when I was in the military, there was not this much training on how to care for yourself and how to empower yourself, how to empower others. I mean, it's amazing the training you get here. It is. It's, I've, I get, you get tips all the time. Yes. Every, and Tracy has been so awesome. I don't know. Um, she is my direct link. Heather, I signed up under Heather, but Heather got so overwhelmed <laughs> with so yeah. many people signing up. And Tracy and I have just hit it off from day one. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, You could meet one person, you know, past, present, who would it be and why? Denzel Washington. And, I do it, like and it is because of the, the story and empowerment that he gives during every interview. And he has his three, three lists that he does. It's God, family, work, you know, and so, and, and I've just always admired that. You know, he's also very handsome, so that wouldn't hurt. But, um, <laughs> you know, I do have a husband, though. <laughs> but, I mean. Uh, You're but allowed it, to have crushes on those guys. They're, yeah. they're touchable. <laughs> <laughs> I just go tell him, you go look at the library, and then I'll look at Denzel for just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, in every interview, he always states, do three things three things in, in that order, God, family, work, and everything else will fall into place. And you, every, in any interview you ever see him in, you know that's what he's going to say. So. Yeah, he is a, he's a good guy. I do like his movies, I know. Um, and the last question I have for you, what was the last movie that you've seen? Yeah, I have to think about that one. I wanted no, to go see a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go see Jurassic World, but it didn't quite work out. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't think it was really a movie other than a Netflix series, and I didn't even finish it because other stuff started happening with Thirteen Reasons Why, and like because um, it's kind of really serious. Whenever my 16 year old was walking in the room I'd shut it off and you know now that summertime he's always here it's a real serious topic although you know it needs to be discussed um but I didn't want him to walk in during one of the bad parts I mean even though he's 16 you know but so. <laughs> hey I love the handmaid's tale I don't know if you've ever seen it and my son kept walking in while I was watching it and I had to pause it every time <laughs> <laughs> Well, the things we do to protect our kids from us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I think that's all the questions that I had for you. I think I asked five. I can't remember. <laughs> so, well, I'd um, like to thank you. I've really enjoyed this. Oh yeah, um, it was fun. <laughs> and um, maybe next time we could try to do something where we could. Uh, see who can win i don't know what yeah like a be. like a like a makeup challenge um about i know that so a couple of girls on our team did like a no tools challenge it was kind of funny to watch that especially when they got to the mas mascara so oh. they tried to put it on without their wand was that i challenge? mean they did really good yeah <laughs> uh oh well we'll have to have a sequel <laughs> we'll see what we oh. can come up with
<laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we appreciate you coming in. Um, one thing that I like to tell everyone um, before I end every video is don't forget to let your sparkle shine. Is there anything you'd like to tell people before you end your video? Um, just be yourself and everything else, you know, everything else is, just happens for a reason. Just be yourself. That's so. very good advice. Very good. Well, I've appreciated right. it. Maybe, maybe the next Thanks. time my lighting won't die on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, and thanks everybody for watching uh, yeah thank you guys all for watching we hope you have a wonderful rest of your night and we'll see you next time all bye right.